Good morning, friends. It is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. This might be one of my first vlogs here at the cabin. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, you could maybe include some of the other ones, but this one feels like the first official one. It's also the very first official video for Vlogmas this year. I'm planning to vlog as much as I can over the Christmas season. I'm shooting for 12 days of Vlogmas, so we'll see if we can get that done. So let me know in the comments below if you are excited. But today is Tuesday. I have just been going around the house tidying everything up I have a full day's worth of things planned I want to finish up my Christmas decorating usually I'm all done by now before Thanksgiving I'm usually done but I still have a few final spaces I want to decorate I'm going to be sharing with you the front porch it's very small I just did a few things out there and then I also have a tiered tray that I plan to tuck back on a table here in the living room so if we can get those two things done some cleaning as well as some errands ran, I will feel like I accomplished everything on my list. So I'm gonna talk about the front door inside just because it's a very busy highway right outside of our cabin. It's really hard to like hear or do anything out there. I prefer not even to be out there. To be honest with you, the backyard is definitely better. Um, but I'll show you what I put on the front door. I had bought this sign. Oh, here comes a car. There we go. I bought this sign from Walmart and just hung it on that wreath hanger that you saw me buy. And it's so cute. It's like the perfect size on this door. I actually still need to put my little buffalo check doormat out. And I have some red lantern sitting out there. So let's get my doormat all situated and then we'll get my lanterns going. It's actually pretty cold outside, 19 degrees is what my watch says, but the wind is supposed to pick up here as the day progresses, so this will be good to get done earlier in the day. It's way too cold to be out there. I couldn't feel my fingers anymore. And people driving by have just got to be wondering, what is that crazy lady doing outside with a tripod? I mean, there's it's, it's a very busy road, so we made that very short and sweet. But it's super festive. You know, we do have family who come to visit us, so it's nice to have that all decorated. But also, I mean, packages. Packages have been slowly coming, not slowly, they've been coming in. The um, delivery people have to be wondering who moved to this house because, yeah, they've been getting a lot. <laughs> Anyways, I did a lot of Black Friday shopping as well as Cyber Monday. Not necessarily Christmas gifts yet, but I've done a ton of shopping for the new house actually. I knocked out probably 75% of my light fixtures I ordered on Black Friday sales as well as faucets. So kitchen faucets, bathroom, bar, laundry, all of it. I mean, so yeah, the packages are so like trickling in, but it feels good to start getting things ready for the new house and I got them at good prices. So anyways, speaking of good prices, I do want to say thank you to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video. Now I've worked with them several times before in our other house where I shared with you their amazing bedding as well as towels. Well, now that we've upgraded to a king size bed for our new house, I was in need of a new set of sheets. So I'm going to unbox the sheets that I chose and share with you what all comes in the package. And I'm actually going to make the bed as well. We need to change out our sheets anyways and get them all washed. So going to do that with you today. But yeah, I love Brooklyn so much. So this is a very exciting package. Oh goodness. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. 
Our queen size sheets are white. These are a cream color. They're gorgeous, oh my gosh. But okay, so we have the Lux Hardcore Bundle. With this bundle, you get two pillowcases, a duvet cover, and the core sheet set. And then underneath here, I have the actual comforter that will go inside the duvet as well. The reflection in the mirror, it's kind of creeping me out. I can't look like there, but anyways, I'm going to get these all into the washing machine, the sheets and the duvet, and we will make the bed here a little bit later and I'll talk more about them, but yes, the nicest sheets we've ever owned and I'm so excited to have more of them that actually fit the bed we have now. I need to go find a new light bulb for the refrigerator, at least I think, yeah. I mean, it looks like that's done, but we have no light in our refrigerator right now. We got freaked out this morning that it was broken. And then I have some pants to return to Target and library books that need to go back to the library. I think I've turned off all my Christmas lights. It's a process, you know, you have candles going, trees all plugged in, so I've made my rounds. Um, we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. I'll probably look around a little bit at Target because I can't help myself. <laughs> But anyways, then we'll come back home, decorate my tiered tray so we could finish out my decorating and make my bed. Got my light bulb. Now I'm looking at Santa's. I think he's so cute. I don't know, what do you think? Creepy or cute? <laughs> I couldn't resist. We do not have any good Santas in our decor. And I mean, you can't have that. I'm back home from running my errands. It, I think I got everything done. I would have liked to have stopped at Aldi, but I'm going to wait for tomorrow. Wednesdays are my favorite day to go there. That's when they put all their new stuff. So I think we can hold off until then. But anyways, did my Target run. I did the drops off of the books and we're back home. I ended up stopping at our new house on the way and kind of got a little sidetracked. I wanted to see the stone. They started exterior stone this week and I wanted to see what it looked like. And of course, I think it looks pretty good, but you just, you just never know. I mean, you hope it all comes together when you're picking out these things. And then our contractor was there. So I ended up just walking through the house and talking through a few things and just chatting a little bit. And I'll say that I don't want to get into too much about it right now. We'll do a separate video on it soon, but I just appreciate him and how he he comes up with ideas. He wants it to look really cool. It's a custom home build, but he's not trying to cut any corners or just get it done as quick as possible. Like he's doing it right and He's adding character and I don't know, I'm just excited with how it's coming along. So HVAC and electrical are supposed to be done this week. I think actually today. Um, and then they're going to clean up the house a little bit. Insulation starts next week. And so I'm hoping to do my big walkthrough, share updates before that. It was a giant mess last weekend when we were there, just wires everywhere and sawdust and spray foam, just a mess and just not in a really good condition to really walk you through and show updates. So that will be coming soon as we kind of finish up that chapter and move forward to the next, but super exciting. I told him we're, we're doing all good here in this little house for now because we have Christmas and the distraction of that. But after the holidays, I feel like we're going to be, we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready to get out of here. We need a little bit more space. So anyways, while I'm waiting for my sheets in the dryer, I need to eat some lunch and then also share with you what I picked up at Target. Refrigerator light bulb, that is exciting. We'll be able to see again when we open the door. I grabbed some of these press on nails. These are actually really good. I've bought them before. I've kind of gotten away from doing my nails as we were moving and packing because they were breaking off and just destroyed my hands altogether. But now I think we're ready and I thought the red would be fun for Christmas. So I grabbed those for me. I also grabbed, I'm slowly buying things for our cookie decorating. These frostings are $9.99, so a green and a red. I'll have to get two more. Uh, it's just good to have a bunch as we decorate cookies as a family. So it's just slowly, I think I got sprinkles yesterday. Slowly, like each shopping trip, I'll grab like something for our cookies. So got that, and then last but not least you saw, 
I got my Santa Claus. I think he's actually pretty cute. A lot of Santas actually creep me out, but <laughs> he's really nice. And he was only $10, which I feel like is a good price compared to some of the other decor that they had out. But I'm thinking, I'll take the tag off here. I'm thinking he might actually be perfect on that middle shelf by those trees. And then he's kind of at the kids' height as they are walking in and out of the bedrooms. What do we think? We'll try it. This tree didn't really match. It was a different shade of red, but I took that off. And that is cute. Oh, he fits perfect. Yes. I love it. Oh, here we go. Yay! While it would be so nice to leave all of this bedding in the box until we move, I do want to take a minute and just set it all up and make the bed so you can just see how nice Brooklyn and sheets are. But anyways, I have to confess before I get started that I watched a video or two on YouTube on how to easily put together a duvet. Back in the day, many years ago, probably 20 years ago, I had one and I used to climb inside of it and I'd come out, my hair would be a mess. It was a complete disaster. So I'm like, there's gotta be an easier way to this. But I found out the trick is to have your duvet inside out and then start in the corners and just slightly turn it back the right way but I really like the ties that come on each corner of this duvet as well as the comforter so that's a game changer for sure but anyways let's talk about Brooklinen they are having their holiday sale right now until the end of the month and all of their products on their website are 15% off so if you are looking for a special gift or wanting to treat yourself definitely make sure to take advantage of this sale all you need to do is click my link and the discount code will be applied at checkout. So make sure to go to the description box, but I can count a few family members right off of the top of my head who are so hard to buy for every single year. And I'm thinking possibly new sheets or towels or something from Brooklyn in would be something that they would really enjoy. bedding like this is just really hard to find and I'm also a big review person it has to have good reviews if I'm going to purchase it high quality bedding can also be super expensive but with Brooklyn in they give you the quality and comfort at a very affordable price the Lux sateen sheets which I am putting on the bed are a bestseller of theirs and definitely our favorite they have a 480 thread count and a slightly luminous finish to them. The sateen is just, it's tightly woven and heavier, which makes it warmer and buttery soft. Now today I'm showing you the Lux Hardcore Bundle, which includes the duvet cover, but they have a few different bundle options to choose from. The one that I am sharing with you typically costs right around $200, while other comparable luxury brands typically cost close to $500. So you can also mix and match and choose from over 20 different colors and patterns that really fits your decor and your style. They also have comforter options for the duvets as well, depending on the weight and fill you want. So it's all customizable. I chose the all season weight, but there's a lightweight and an ultra warm available as well. We've had a lot of sheets in the past, but our Brooklyn and sheets are by far the most comfortable ones we've ever slept on. It's the perfect balance between comfort and temperature. I'm definitely excited to bring these to our new home. The bed just looks so like soft and cozy and plush and fancy. I cannot wait to sleep in it tonight. But I'm going to have a link down below in the description box. If you click on that link, it will bring you over to the Brooklinen website where you can save 15% off their entire website through the end of the month. Such a good deal. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I truly do love their products. Right before we moved, I had ordered a sheet set for our guest bedroom. So I have those ready and waiting for when we get over to the new house and get all set up. Look at that. 
Cup just living his best life. Oh my goodness. He's going to be so excited when we go to the dog park. <gasps> did I say dog park? I did. Dog park? We'll go see your friends? Yes? Oh yes. There's not enough time in the day though. Does anyone else feel like that? I didn't feel like I had too much to do, but I have everything sitting out to decorate it. So hopefully when I get back from the park, we'll quickly put this together. Usually around this time of day, I'd be at school picking up the kids, but grandma's doing it today. She does it about once a week. And so on that day is typically when I'll bring Charlie to the dog park for an hour, but today will not be an hour. It's too cold out, but at least just to get him some exercise and outside a little bit. It's also good for me too. I've actually met some really nice people out there. It gets me out of the house because believe it or not, I am such a homebody. Like it takes a lot to get me out of the house. It is the next day. I totally ran out of daylight to record my tear tray. Not a big deal. It's the next day and I have more time to focus on it and put together hopefully something really cute. Now I was, I've been decorating this year here in the cabin. I've talked about this multiple times, but just in case you haven't heard me say this already, I did not bring all of my decor here. I didn't even bring a third of my decor here, including my tear tray essentials like my mini cloches my cake my cupcake stands or my different risers and things like that i have none of that so i have picked up just a few new things as i've done christmas shop with me's so i thought i would do a little recap and also i guess there is like one or two new things that i haven't yet shared with you so i'll share with you some of my main larger items for my tray and then we'll get decorating some of these you have seen in my shop with me. This one was from Walmart, this wooden bell. This is gorgeous. I actually went back when I was grocery shopping to see if they had any more and they did not. They're all gone, um, but I think that this will be just a really pretty filler item. It's larger in size. So that's from Walmart. This little tree was also from Walmart. I just thought it was so cute and different and 7.98 actually i don't think i saw any more of those either black reindeer i shared these from hobby lobby had an unfortunate accident over thanksgiving one of them fell and cracked into a billion pieces so these are definitely breakable be careful if you buy them from hobby lobby and of course now they're all sold out of the black but not a big deal i'll wait again till next year and maybe get another set but yeah, so one little reindeer. This little wooden tin is also from Hobby Lobby. I like that I can flip it around this way if I do not want any words on it, but super cute. I think it was only like $2 after their 60% off. This lantern is from Target, and you know me and my red around the holidays. I thought it was fun, and I initially did not buy it to go on my tray, but once I, I got it home, I was like, well, let's just see. It does fit, so if I can find some battery-operated lights, I might just pop some of those in there because I do not have any candles left. These were from Walmart, these little black houses. These are the last ones that I have here, so I thought we might try to add these, which is where I envisioned them when I picked them up. So got those little houses and then this candle. Okay, so this actually, I don't know if I'm gonna use it on my tray. I actually just have it sitting on my table. I went to Bath and Body Works. What was it? I'm not sure. It was not Black Friday, but shortly after that, I wanted one candle. So I think they were $13. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. It's the perfect Christmas scent. I love the white color and just how simple it is, but oh my goodness, isn't this lid just precious? I'm definitely keeping this for future candles, but that might actually work out well on my tray as a filler piece since I'm kind of lacking in the decor that I have here. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? 
I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew, this Christmas. For this little bucket, this I think will go on the back of the tray as more of a filler piece. But I had these little birch logs left over in my decor. You can buy them in a bag at Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness, these are probably a few years old. They're not looking their best, but I think they will still work for at least one more year. But I was thinking, instead of a tree, which would probably be too tall for the tray, what if I just might need to prop these up? Just a little bit. Just make it look like a little, oh, maybe if I twist it like that, a little wooden bucket of some sort. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell on the door jingled once more, and then time almost came to a stop. But somehow. the lamp over just a little bit so you can kind of see it from this direction but you really have to be walking by to get a good glimpse of it but I'm happy I was able to decorate it okay my friends that is going to be it for today's video we have all kinds of vlogmas videos ahead so I better save some things for that I think in my next video I will share with you all of the advent calendars that I got for the kids and then I'm also doing a new one this year as well so we'll have that to share with you and I'm sure there will be more decor changes to come let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a home tour I'm thinking about doing it a little bit differently this year 
um, mostly just to Christmas music. No talking and because I know a lot of you really like some of the Christmas songs that I play in my videos. So just to have me not interrupt it with talking and just enjoy the decorations with the music. Let me know if you would you'd like to see that. I'm thinking about doing it. I probably will, unless you tell me absolutely not, Crystal. It's terrible. <laughs> but anyways, wanted to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Do not forget to check out that Brook Linen link down below in the description box. Take advantage of the 15% off sale. But thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.